Hey YouTube, this is a normal day, just a slice out of life, just me sharing my life with people I've never even met before. What is, what is that? This wasn't set up, this wasn't planned. What is that? There's something under there. I've never seen this before. What is under there? I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind cause it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. I was just working on this yesterday. I'm gonna pull this stuff away and we'll get to see what the final surface here looks like. I've got this plastic up because uh, what's behind here is uh, concrete and you wanna keep concrete damp while it's, uh, it's curing. It doesn't dry, it does dry eventually, but that's not what hardens concrete. What hardens concrete is a chemical process called curing and you want it to stay moist. So that process can happen. I just did this yesterday. It looks pretty good. Uh, what I did here is I just put some more concrete on this surface. I had done all the rest of this earlier and uh, the reason I'm doing this later uh, isn't because I thought it'd be nice to try to have to, try to match these two surfaces. When this uh, dries out it'll probably be about the same uh, uh, darkness is that, but you know, you, you'll see the difference. Uh, but the reason I'm doing it later is because I made a little bit of a mistake. Uh, and that's, that's kind of a bit of an unusual thing for me. Usually while I'm putting projects together, I put enough thought in uh, ahead of time so that I usually, I usually don't make errors. Sometimes I'll say on my channel here, uh, nine out of ten times when I think something's the right way to do something or I think something's you know, true or likely, 90% of the time I'm usually right about that. And in this video, what I want to talk about is uh, the fact that 90 isn't the same as 100. And that can be a really dangerous thing for a lot of us. I'm doing this video because Ontario Homestead uh, did a video recently uh, that got me kind of thinking about this video topic. Uh, he, he was talking about how, uh, you know, a lot of us uh, in the prepping community, there's certain things that we are, uh, we're good at. You know, we've got a lot of practice in it or experience with it. And uh, sometimes we can forget that just because we're good at something, you know, we don't know everything and you can still make mistakes. And that's been kind of a video topic that I've been wanting to do for a while, specifically on the, uh, to address the idea of, well, the past several years, uh, you know, being a prepper, uh, we've all kind of had the opportunity to be demonstrated to be correct about an awful lot of things over and over and over and over and over and over again. And uh, that has two impacts. One, it makes us really irritating and obnoxious to all the people around us unless you, you play it properly. Uh, and you know, a lot of us I think are trying to, trying to ride that line or, or, or aren't even, even bothering to try to ride that line at all. But uh, there's a second downside to it and it's uh, what happens to us personally because uh, if you get into the mindset where you start feeling like you're right about everything all the time, it can really set you up to uh, have the rug pulled out from under you because, you know, even if you're right 90% of the time or 99% of the time, there's still that 10% or 1% of the time where you're gonna be wrong about something and it's really critical to be aware of that and to not forget that fact because um, if you are ready and prepared to be incorrect about certain things, you can have some backup plans for it. Yeah, uh, you can make it so that, um, you know, you could see uh, some sort of a, an event unfolding and it could go one way or it could go the other way. You think it's going to go this way, but if you act like you know it's going to go that way and you think it can't possibly go this way, you're not going to take any precautions for that being the reality. Uh, whereas if you think it's going to go this way, but you're entertaining the idea that you could be wrong and it could go in this other direction, you're going to make at least some degree of preparations for that. And that is a really critical mindset to be in, especially over the last several years where I know a lot of us have just been feeling like we've been right about everything. And, you know, we have been uh, on a lot of uh, different fronts, but that can really set us up for failure in the future if we uh, forget the fact that, you know, just because you've been right about a ton of things doesn't mean you're going to be right about everything. A lot of times people will talk here on this platform uh, about the idea of listening to other people's opinions and other people's uh, view on things. And that is not just like a touchy-feely way of, uh, you know, making our society uh, a more peaceful place because, you know, if you're more prone to listen to another person, then, you know, you're going to, you know, be less likely to get angry at them. You know, if you are, 
you know, respecting, uh, the, you know, their thinking and, uh, you know, their perspective on the world. Um, so that's one benefit, but it's not the only benefit. In so far as the topic of this video goes, another benefit is that if you are listening to other people, uh, you know, who have different points of view on things, eventually one of those people is going to be right and you're going to be wrong. And it's a really great opportunity to try to find out what you're wrong about before you know, you end up having that rug pulled out from under your legs by always keeping yourself open to other people's, uh, you know, uh, thoughts, other people's perspectives. I know over the past several years, uh, you know, the whole thing with the, uh, this, the germ that was going around that we're not supposed to be able to say on, on this platform because it gives us all sorts of troubles and those interventions that were like stuck into people's arms that we're not supposed to really talk about, uh, at least not in any way that isn't glowing praise. Um, you know, there was a lot of, uh, you know, there was a lot of controversy about that and there were a lot of differences of, of opinions on that. And you know, the way that I ultimately ended up going, and I'm definitely glad that I did go this way, and I do feel like this is something that I was, I feel at this point, I was right about it. Uh, but I gave an awful lot of consideration to other people's point of view was that intervention that gets stuck into your arm. I listened to an awful lot of people because while I felt that I was correct, that the things probably were not tested, uh, you know, as much as they really should have been. And the fact that I felt that they probably weren't going to work very well because they were trying to achieve something that people have tried to, to achieve many, 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 many times in, in the past and people have never really been able to get it to work. Uh, so I felt that it probably wasn't going to work and I felt that it wasn't really tested in terms of safety uh, very well. Uh, but I did not allow myself to fall into a mindset where I knew 100% that I was correct about that. And I listened to an awful lot of people. And I never stopped listening. And that is really, really critically important, whether it is interventions that go into your arm, uh, or whether it is, you know, what is going to happen in the future geopolitically or environmentally. It is super important to listen to other people because even if you're really smart, and I know a little bit about this, uh, even if you're really smart and you're right 90% of the time, 95% of the time, 99% of the time, 99.99999% of the time, there's going to be that one time when you're not correct. And maybe it's, you know, some like silly little thing like uh, initially, this, like I mentioned, this was kind of a mistake. Initially, what I was thinking here was that the ground wasn't going to just be flat down here. I was thinking I was going to do kind of like terracing and make the ground at different levels. And that was my original idea. But once I got into this space and I started looking at it, I was like, that is an awful idea. You're not gonna have any space to move around, uh, you know, cut your losses and, uh, you know, fix that stupid idea that you had. So eventually you're gonna have some kind of uh, situation where you're wrong. And if you go into that situation where you believe 100% that you're correct and you don't make any sort of allowances for the idea that you could be wrong about this, it's really, it's going to really have the potential to burn you. It might be some silly little thing like, oh, I thought it was going to terrorize this and maybe it's not a good idea. Or it could be something that ends up killing you. So the more that you listen to other people, the more you entertain the idea that you could be wrong about any number of things that you're thinking are true or real or correct right now, the more you entertain the idea that one of those things could be wrong, the more you're going to be listening to other people and the more you're we're preppers. We should prep for lots of different things, including the idea that something that you believe is true might not be. It's important to prep against that because then if you find out you were wrong, we prepped for it. That's it. Give it some thought. Listening to other people isn't just for their benefit and the benefit of the society, although those things are benefits that uh, come out of that. The biggest benefit, the biggest selfish benefit to you is the fact that by listening to other people, you can get a little bit of a short circuit on that kind of that trick in your mind where your brain can sometimes accidentally trick you into thinking that you're right when sometimes you might not be. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hey YouTube preppers, if you hated this video, you're going to love this video where we talk about how you can survive the apocalypse while taking absolutely no responsibility for yourself ahead of time.